right, folks, welcome back to Around the Yard. As you saw there, we ran two big rounds through. One was Red Elm. I wanted to try it with a single knife to see if we had any better luck. Um, several videos ago, we ran it through the box wedge. Really didn't work that well. Um, really stringy. Didn't get any better using the single knife, but uh, wanted to show you what a round of ash looked like going through the single knife. So that we got really nice bundle pieces. I'll be able to throw that in my tote uh, for bundle wood. That red elm, um, we got a mix of like four by fours, five by five, something like that. Um, it's just gonna go to the wood furnace. That's undesirable. Um, I can't sell that for bundles. Nobody will buy it. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do with this red elm. I think we're going to set it aside for probably a year. See if it gets any better with age. See if, if it dries out, if it cracks apart a little bit better. Um, that's at least my hope. But uh, so far I'm going to keep running the ash. I got another tote filled this morning. Um, we just got off of the, the rebuild of the 800 motor. Uh, we got the air box on and the new air filter, uh, fueled it up and just wanted to give it a shot this morning. Uh, well, this afternoon now, but uh, yeah, it, it ran well, uh, no issues with it. I should tell you, we got 41.6 hours, so we had 39.1 when it was in the shop and working on it, so what, we get another two, two and a half hours of runtime on it. Um, got another face cord out of it, plus half another, half of another face cord, so pretty happy with that. Um, I loaned out the Mini this week, so we don't have that to move rounds. Um, that's coming back on Tuesday, so not a huge deal, but um, I got this mess of stuff kind of right in front of the barn. Um, I'm kind of right in the Y of where the driveway comes together. So um, not ideal, but uh, had to get that loaded up. Had to get the mini loaded up. Um, I had all these rounds from over uh, in the wood yard where we're gonna drop that willow tree. That still hasn't happened yet, um, but everything's cleared out of there. So we're ready to go um, when my tree service guy has some time. So we'll bring you along for that as well. Um, quick little shout out we we made it to a thousand subscribers that's awesome um, couldn't be happier happened last night on back 40s live stream so that was pretty neat um, I started watching back 40 years ago along with many other channels and uh, yeah it was kind of neat to see that kind of click up one by one by one so thanks for all of you subscribers if you haven't subscribed please do so it's free uh, smash that like button leave me a comment down below and uh, we'll show you what else we're up to today so we're getting towards supper time and it's hot and sticky and sweaty out here so I'm gonna probably load this up in my tote um, I did manage to lift off the 2x4 box wedge so that's sitting in the tote that I was splitting for it um, but this is pretty close to that 2x4 mix so that'll just go in that same ash tote um, we're coming up on, this is all that wood that was sitting in that pile. There's still a few more pieces of ash to probably run through. Um, there's some goofier pieces, so I think we're gonna leave this single way on for maybe a week or so, get those run through. Um, but I think we're gonna wind up with about a cord, cord and a quarter of ash that came out of that uh, one pile. So this red elm is probably another face cord that's probably two more face cords. These are pretty big rounds, and the way we have to split them, uh, they take up some volume in the in the tote. So um, maybe it's maybe it's a face cord and a half, something like that. But at any rate, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Have a great day around the yard, and we'll catch you on the next one.